Hi, this is Tor Glad Nordahl, Program Manager for BizDoc in Microsoft. Today I'm going to show you a video of how to connect BizDoc Server 2016 to Salesforce using the Logic App Adapter in BizDoc. This is one of the big customer asks we see a lot and I'm happy to make a video for you guys to explain it a little bit further. A demo of a user scenario that we do see on a frequent basis today. As we're moving integration into more and more hybrid integration stories, we see a lot of customers investing in SaaS solutions up in the cloud, one of them being Salesforce. However, these customers might still have some of their data on-premise, uh, like their on-premise ERP systems. Making sure that you have the sync as the new sales team is now working towards Salesforce, but your on-premise systems are still being updated with the data or changes taking effect in Salesforce. Your orders may still come in on the same old-fashioned way through BizDoc servers, but we got to make sure that the accounts, etc., are still made up in Salesforce. So I'm going to quickly show you a demo, and John Fancy has been uh, been showing this at Integrate and at different events um, around the world already. Um, and I just wanted to make sure we cover this in a video. So what you'll see here is a simple scenario of an on-premise CRM system uh, that is communicating and talking to Salesforce. So whenever a new order comes in, the order is being added, but at the same time, we're just making sure that the account is created in Salesforce and then updating Salesforce with a new account if it doesn't exist. And I'm also going to show you when I make a change to my account in Salesforce that it is being updated to BizDoc Server on-prem and the ERP system. So this is my database. I'm running everything on a local machine here, so you'll see everything together. But pretend this is our ERP system. As you will see, there's there's currently no order. Uh, there's nothing in my system today. There's no customers. I'll take you up so you can take a look at Salesforce as well. As you can see, there is currently only one account name in my Salesforce account called Contozo. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to um, where I'll drop my order. So I have this order text. As you can see here, I do have a message, one being company name, BizDoc Company Incorporation. I have my contact details for the sales rep in that company who's making the order, and then information about my order. So in this case, it's a, it's a simple widget, quantity of 15, and the price is 9.99. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this message, and I'm gonna rename it to XML, which is the file mask I'm using for BizDoc to pick up. I'm going to hit OK and yes to here and take a quick look at my debug view and making sure that we see changes taking effect and being updated. So we can see the receiver is coming in, the customer is being looked up, we cannot find it. Uh, we're sending the customer to Sales Store, Salesforce up in Azure through the Logic App adapter in BizDoc. We're checking to see if there's any discount for this customer through rules. And then we're making sure we send the order to our SQL database and we can see as we do this, we get the reply from Salesforce where we receive the account ID that is being created up in Salesforce. Uh, we insert this account ID into SQL Server again and we do have a sentiment rating to see how happy this customer is and it's a 0 0.86 in this case. The customer is being inserted in my SQL database on-prem and the order number is being created based on the details that just happened up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in SQL Server what actually happened. As you can see here, these are the customers I have in my database today. Uh, we do have the Vista Company Incorporation popping up here with the customer SIP and the rating we have for them. Um, however, we don't have the city or the street for this company. We can also take a look here and we can see that there's one order in with the ID we just saw and the date for when we received it, whatever they ordered in that specific order. So let me quickly show you what's happening in Visual Studio. Basically what's happening in the beginning, we do get a new order. This is the file pickup we had. We're making sure that we look up to see if this customer and, and account already is registered in our system on-prem. If not, we'll go ahead and create it going down into the next step here. So if there's a new account, we're, we're making sure that we create it. We also update Salesforce with this information to confirm that we actually have the right account. Then we're going ahead and we're inserting the order for this customer and making sure that we have the correct order in our system. What's going to happen next is we're going to go into Salesforce. We're going to make some changes. We'll have a logic app running in the cloud. That's basically going in and just confirming that we have the latest um, We'll get the update based on what we changed in Salesforce. This is going to be pushed back down to BizDoc. BizDoc is going to receive this update. It's going to make sure he adds the data and updates the SQL database with the correct information. 
So let me go into Salesforce again. I'll refresh the window so we can see that we do have a new account called this.comp Inc. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and edit this account up in Salesforce. And this is typically where I have my sales team working today. So we'll call this Redmond Way 1. Billing City is Redmond. And then we have the state, which is Washington in this case. We can even add the country. So I'm going to save this. What's going to happen now, and we can take a look at this, is the Salesforce is going to kick this off. Um, and it's going to go in and make sure that we do have these changes and letting them be sent down to our business solutions on-prem. So the business solution on-prem will take this, order, this customer update and update the on-premise CRM system. As you can see here, I received the customer update. He did find the account already, and he made in the, the changes to my account. So let's go back to my account here. If I now update this database, we can see that the customer street in the city has been added to the account. So this is one of the hybrid scenarios we do see a lot of our customers looking into now, leveraging the SaaS application provided by different vendors up in the cloud like Salesforce and being able to send this data and updating their on-premise system. In some cases as well, it might not be just to keep the on-premise systems accurate, but making sure that when a company, for instance, does a merge and buy a new company, making sure that we can connect those systems used in the old ones to the new one. Thank you for taking the time and watching this short video of how you can set up hybrid scenarios in BizTalk. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, anything you wonder about. We're also active on Twitter and Facebook, so you can directly reach us there. I also want to mention, and it's going to be a link in the bottom of this video, on how to sign up to become one of our Azure advisors, uh, which means you'll be accessing a lot more content and being able to interact with the product group through Yammer. Thank you so much, and let me know if there's any specific videos you'd like to see.